Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat and I am here to show you some lovely things that I got from BB Craft and they are bbcraft.com and I'm sure you've seen lots of people um, you know doing videos for them. They have lots of jewelry items and other craft items. So <clears throat> I haven't unboxed it completely yet. I just took it out of the main envelope because it had the um, addresses and all that. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I just added these little bees that I drew for my bee journal. I didn't want them to get uh, knocked off onto the floor or whatever. So we're just going to cut this open. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> I just don't want to catch anything. So yeah, I received this yesterday late afternoon. So I would come on here this morning and show you guys what they sent me. I don't even exactly remember what I ordered because... I was, you know, trying to make up my mind. I decided to go with some jewelry making stuff, so this is going to be all new to me. Um, I've never really done any jewelry making, but <clears throat> they have a lot of really nice jewelry making items, so I figured that would probably be a good, good thing since I, I want to make some um, jewelry for journals, you know, like some little dangles and things like that. So, what I got is <clears throat> these charms, and I'll take them out of here and show you. So everything comes really nicely packaged, you know, nice and tight and safe, so that's awesome because obviously we don't want our things to come broken or whatnot and in a baggie, so this did pop open a little bit. If, if any had fallen out for any reason, they were in a baggie, so that's nice. <clears throat> and then you can see this is also wrapped in plastic, so you definitely couldn't lose any of those. So these are some little, like, uh, sort of rhinestone type charms. I thought they'd be fun to maybe hang on, um, what do you call them, bulb pins. And I've done bulb pins before and things like that, but uh, not, you know, really other beading type things. For starting out, I probably will be using the bulb pins just because I don't have, they did send me a few uh, things, but I just don't have a lot of jewelry making things. So anyway, there's one like that, and I'll move you guys in closer in just a second. Just let me get these out of here. A heart shaped one. Let's get all the silver ones first. There's a diamond shape. And as you can see, you get loads of them in here. And kind of that marquee sort of shape. And then you'll get the same thing in the gold. So here's the heart. And this one has the, so some of them have the ring on just the top, and some of them have the ring on the bottom, I think. Or maybe that one just has a ring on the bottom. Yeah, I don't see any others like that, so that one must be a, but that's kind of cool, because then you could hang other little beads from the bottom of that. So I'm not sure why that one does, and none of the other ones do. Okay, here's our diamond shape. One. And this is more of like a pear. And then an oval. So that's those. And those are super tiny, so I'm going to come in close. So you can see what you get. And you get <clears throat> a whole lot of them in here. Okay, so that's those, and I'll move you out, and you can see there's kind of a little design around the, too close, a little design around the gem, so that's fun, and then there's, it's just like a little um, glass cut, like diamond little bobble ah, in there, I can't get, come on camera. Anyway, it's just right inside of there. 
All right, so I'll move those off to the side. And maybe I'll move you guys out a little bit again. Oops. <clears throat> and then I got these glass beads in many different colors and many, many of them. They're um, seed beads, but they're not the tiny, tiny seed beads because I would fiddle with those for hours, never being able to grasp a hold of them. So they're kind of a larger size seed bead, and you can see there's lo loads of them in there. And BB Crafts prices are very reasonable. So that's why I was definitely willing to work with them, and they always have good quality. I've gotten their stuff before, and I, I really like the quality. So go ahead and move that out of the way. And um, it's really nice that it comes in a nice little storage box because that way I don't have to worry about where am I going to put all those little tiny beads. And then I just took this out of this bag. And this all comes as a set. So you get some pliers, uh, some tweezers, a ring base, you know, to bend or, you know, put rings on for sizing <laughs> the words. <clears throat> and I don't really know how to do that, but... Um, it just came with this set and then you got all these jump rings and there's like some clasps and things too so I figured that was a good little starter set for me because then I can add them to uh, jump or not jump rings but bulb pins or use these jump rings that are in here so in this little box you get the silver side you get a lobster claw clasp and this is a large jump ring and then they just go down in size from there just one so let me pull this down here a little bit so you can see them a little bit better. And then in the gold you'll get the exact same pieces. So this I thought was a really good deal because it does come with the pliers <clears throat> and the tweezers. So that will definitely help with making little rings and pins and things to go on my journals. You get a whole lot. There's a ton of those in there. Let me come in again. Oopsie. I'm gonna focus. There it goes. So as you saw, you got bunches of those in there. If you can see. Okay. So that is that. I'm trying to get this lid to close again. And then I'll back back out. I always go the wrong direction with this thing. So you get the um, they're not quite needle nose, but they're really close, so that's a, a nice set. And they have the spring in there, so they close when you pinch them and open right back up. And they're really nice and smooth. It's not like they're hard to um, close or anything like that. And then the little tweezers come in a case, and they're the kind, they have the little holder. When you pinch, they close, you know, because there's different different kinds. Some of them... Um, do the opposite so those ones pinch to close all right so I'm going to clean this up and then I'll be right back and we'll play okay I'm back so let's that or sorry back this out I had to take off my sweatshirt I got hot um so let's see I want to do just some little ring things first like I said I do not do a whole lot of jewelry making so I'm going to try a pear-shaped one first, and then I have all of these from BB Craft as well, the bulb pins. They sent me, um, I think it's a thousand that you get, and they come in the kind of bronze, silver, black, and then gold. I've got some other pins in there too, but the bulb pins are from BB Craft, so I'm going to use the gold ones because this little um, veil thing on here is gold. And then it would be fun to put some beads with it. 
So I'm going to get two of those rings out. And these are, um, you don't really have to use the pliers, but when you bend them, and I learned this when I was a kid, but you push one side one way and the other the other way so that it opens. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. You just don't want to pull them apart because that's going to change, you know, where they come back together and then it'll be hard for it to ever meet up again. If you, if you do one one way and one the other way in a twisting position like this, then when you twist it back, they usually meet back up again and then you don't have an odd shape to your um, jump ring. All right, so let's see what color should we put with this. I think I might try some of these little, these little greeny ones. Uh, see this is the problem with me doing this is it's so tiny tiny but these beads are really um, nice I like the weight of them and the feel of them because they're a glass glass bead and I'm gonna put with that put a pink one with it maybe Oh my goodness, I apologize. It's just too tiny and fiddly. And I can't grab these with the tweezers because they just ping out of the tweezer snips there. Okay, and I'm just going to close that one back up. They're super easy to work with. It's just that my hands with the shaky thing is not great. I'm going to put a purple one. And let's see. Maybe this... I don't think what would go the best with that. Maybe this blue. I don't really know. I'm just playing around. And just make sure that they, you know, meet up again so you're not losing them. <clears throat> and we're just going to take a bolt pin. And we'll put one of those on. And then we'll put our little charm on. And then another one of those on. So it makes a nice little dangly that you can hook to um, like some lace or whatever on the side of a journal page. Like this one, I don't have any lace on it or anything at the moment. But if I did, you could just hang it like right off the side over here. And then that way you've got some little dangles and jewelry for your journal. So there's that one, and that's using the little oval with the rhinestone in it. And then just some of the other beads on the uh, jump rings, which I do. I like that a lot because you can see them better. Sometimes when you just put them on the jump ring, sometimes they won't even go on depending on the bead. Um, so the jump rings are really a great idea. Okay, this next one, I'm going to go ahead and use a gold one again. And I made up, I had these little, like, bee topper ones. Those ones aren't from BB Craft, but I had those. So um, I just added a black bead and a yellow bead. And I'm going to put that on. Actually, first, no, that'll work. Sorry, I had to think about how it's going to go. And then I thought it would be fun to add some like snippets of fabric. to put on there too. And I'll be doing more than one video um, using these BB Craft, BB craft uh, beads. But I just put a little fabric with it. And that will also help keep your charm on your bulb pin. If you're moving it around, you won't have it falling off on you all the time. Maybe some lace. cleaned up some of my fabric yesterday and I just have the biggest mess of randomness happening. I think I'll use my pinking shears. Sorry, you know, the camera moves every time I pull scissors out. Um, this one might actually go on first. My pinking shears are getting dull because I cut paper with them. Because I'm naughty. So see, you can do stuff just as simple as that. And then that's a fun little 
charm the to go on a journal. That one up there. And I have one more B, and I put this one on a smaller circle. And I would advise if you do stuff like that, maybe the larger circle is a little bit better. So let me see. Have this kind of I don't know what you call it like almost like a rayon fabric and black maybe we'll use a black bulb pin so if you're new to journaling this is a fun and easy idea where you don't need a million things just jump rings bulb pins and a few beads because you don't you don't have to have the you know the charm on there I just had those and since I'm doing a bee journal I thought that would be fun and then with it I have a whole lot of yellow fabric it's sort of one of those colors I don't use a whole bunch for whatever reason I don't really know why this one from my friend Denise. But also a good way to use up little snippets and scraps of uh, fabric that you have. I might go ahead and put this one on the front. Should probably get out all the pieces right before I start putting them on the pin. You can also put buttons on these, so um, you know, maybe some beads and buttons, but there's a little, another little bee charm. So those are super easy. I am liking the, um, doing the jump rings. Let's do some silver ones. I probably won't even hold a bead. I'll do like two this size and then I'm going to skip one and take one that's larger. Use a silver gold pin. And like I said, you can get those on BB Craft, those gold pins. They didn't come with this particular grouping that I'm using this time, but um, that's where I got them originally. And I'm just going to open that. And I'm just going to put one bead on these. So let's use a red one. See, now that one doesn't want to go on there. And it just depends on the hole in the bead. Because sometimes they just won't go for whatever reason. Okay, I put it on the other end and it went just fine. And I'm going to close that. And I'm just bringing those two ends back together again. I know it's so tiny and fiddly. I'm just worried if I come in too close, then I might get off camera easy. But I'm just opening those rings. one. And do another red one. Ah. Got the red, white, and blue theme going there. <clears throat> and let me see. I don't know if I want fabric on there. I think maybe I'll just put these on. So 
So you could keep adding more of those if you wanted, like we could do. Or actually, why don't we need to do one of these? Sorry, I don't know exactly how I want, what I want to do yet. Let's put a heart. <clears throat> So the front of it's going to be this way. So there's that. Yeah, I'm definitely liking having the jump rings to go on the bulb pins because you can put a lot more and you get a lot more of that you know, the dangle that is fun on a journal. And those are super easy. That's nothing um, hard. Because I, I don't know how to do a lot of, like, fancy beading and stuff on the little stems and everything. But uh, that's definitely, and you could make up slews. I mean, look at all those glass beads. So, and like I said, their prices are very reasonable at BB Craft. So, um, I want to tell you guys, too, that I am going to... Um, for our color challenge on Monday, I think we'll go ahead and do red, white, and blue. My sister suggested that, and that's a great idea, because we got um, Independence Day coming up for us here in the United States. So I think that's on Monday we'll do red, white, and blue. So there's a little start to it right there. So that's where I'm going to stop for this video. I'll be back again today, though, because I'm working on the bee journal, and I want you guys to see some stuff I'm doing. So, um, But this is BB Craft, so don't forget, bbcraft.com. And it will be in my description box below with all the links and everything. So I will see you guys later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye now.